How's it going YouTube? Evil here. Today I'm going to do another unboxing. I got a, another Retro Treasure Box Monthly. I got the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game for the Switch. And a special edition of Mega Man 11. I guess we'll start with the Yu-Gi-Oh! game first and leave the Retro Treasure for last. So, got my little knife right here. Cut the seal. And inside, nothing really special, just a little card backgrounds, the cartridge, and three special playing cards, which I don't feel like opening right now, but I picked this up the other day from the store. I might play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Live stream that later when I have some time. I also picked up Mega Man 11. I bought Mega Man 11 when it first came out. But I gave my original copy to my friend as a birthday present and then I saw this special edition one online on eBay for like 60 bucks so, and I, I picked it up. It was a Rockman 11. It was only released in Japan this version and uh, in the States we only got the Mega Man 11 with the Amiibo uh, special, as a special edition which was kind of half-assed. Over here you see Mega Man, some screenshots of the game. Ugh, it's a box in the box. Oh, I see. Boom. So right here, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like some sort of um, mat. Has some sort of art book. Yeah, some art detailing on some of his weapons, stages. So on, really cool. We don't get any cool things like this. The Japanese get all these cool stuff. The copy of Rockman 11. Let's crack the seal. Nothing really special inside. There's some screenshots of the game, some Japanese advertisement, but I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what that says. And it also comes with an amiibo, which this was the amiibo that came to us with our special edition, but we didn't get no no art book or anything like that. But cool. I'm not messing around with this later. You know, let's put that back. And I'll move this out of the way, Yu-Gi-Oh! As you said. And then on to the main course where y'all came to see is the retro treasure. So let's see what we got this month. Bubble wrap. I love that. Let's see. First game, we got some Wordtress. Wordtress. I didn't know this was a thing, but it's yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play that. Next game, we got Naruto Clash of the Ninja for the GameCube. No manual, like always. And the last game we got, Blue Stinger for the Dreamcast. Well, at least they sent me a game this time. After the last time, I went to the options and turned off the 
receive demo option now I'm getting games again um, cool manual everything overshot if you choose to see but yeah this is my month's load but like as always if you want a retro treasure box you just sign up on their website for 40 bucks a month you get a mystery gift full of uh, games for the systems you selected in their option menu and then so far something's good sometimes you get whatever stuff like this and sometimes you get cool games like this well actually I don't know how cool this game is but if you're a person who's trying to build up your collection of uh, vintage video games this might be right for you if you're trying to find more harder expensive games for that system they might this not might be for you because you're not gonna get no earthbound from retro treasure or anything like that but if you like this video hit a like subscribe really help me out um yeah thanks for watching till next time peace